Hello YouTube, it is Everything Epan here, and in this video we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 in VirtualBox. Um, this is a video uh, suggested by multiple different uh, viewers, uh, ranging from years ago up until recently here. Uh, so I figured this would be a good one to get out um, for this. So. Um, this was used, of course, uh, for point of service uh, devices, um, hence the name POS Ready. Um, and this was created back in 2009, but it was based off of the Windows XP operating system. Um, you'll see that when we uh, go through the install. So, um, what you'll need for this, uh, of course, VirtualBox will be in the description if you do not already have it. Um, and then also in the description here will be a download link for it. Um, this will be straight off of Microsoft's website. There's that download link here for it. Uh, so you just hit download and it'll download the ISO file there for you. Um, once you have those things here, what we can do is just make sure uh, you have VirtualBox open. We'll make a new virtual machine here. I'm just going to call it Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. Um, and then for this, we can actually set it to uh, Windows XP 32-bit um, and hexed. And then I'm going to give it 2 gigs of RAM. Um, you can bump it up some for sure. You don't have to have 192 megabytes uh, if you can. Up it. Uh, we're going to create a virtual hard drive. Um, you'll wanna, you can choose any of the uh, options there. So any anything on the uh, file type, anything when you get to the dynamically allocated or fixed size, you can pick either one of those, uh, read the description if you need, and then pick your capacity if you want to leave it at the recommended of 10 gigs or increase it if you'd like. Uh, once that machine's created, we'll go ahead and go into settings and we'll go to storage. We'll get the ISO inserted by hitting empty and then hitting the disk and choosing a file. I was on the list here, but I'll go in anyways. It should be called POS ready 2009 underscore CD. We'll insert that and hit OK. And then we should be good to start the machine. So it'll start up our virtual machine here. And as you can see, of course, it's got the Windows XP boot screen. Um, as said, it is based off of the Windows XP operating system. And just let it load through the setup here. It'll ask to press any key for a command prompt. We'll just let it continue on. And then here is the setup. So um, on the welcome screen there, just go ahead and hit next. And then on this, do the uh, interactive setup and hit next. And then it is going to ask for a uh, product key here. So um, there should be, uh, if you search, do a Google search of the product key here, you usually should be able to bring that up if you aren't able to see this um in this here so um i'm gonna go ahead we'll get that uh entered in here really quick and uh make sure that the key gets entered for that all right so it'll come up with the uh license agreement here and once that comes up make sure to accept that and hit next and then you want to type in your name um and organization if you want but should just need a name hit next um you don't have to do the additional storage drivers. Um, we'll just, I'm just gonna install the third party ones. I guess here, even if you try to, it comes up with that message, yeah. Uh, can leave it at no additional storage drivers, go ahead and hit next. And then this is where we will select the partition or where to install this at. So we'll select the unpartitioned space here and then we will go ahead and create a partition. Just use all the space and hit okay. And then once it creates that partition, we should be able to select that and the next option will become available. And then for formatting, we'll just leave it at NTFS, uh, default allocation unit size. You can name it whatever you'd like on this. Um, you can leave it at new volume. I'm just gonna name it Windows. Pick a drive letter if you want. Usually C is the default anyways. Go ahead and check perform a quick format. Actually, it probably wouldn't even take long if you didn't do it. So you can do that if you want. I'm just gonna do a full format and then hit next. And then this is where it's going to have you set your language. And then you can also um, install some extra language uh, files here. So um, I'm going to leave those unchecked. We'll hit next. And then now it's going to ask for the regional settings for your location, uh, time zone, those sort of things. So um, make sure that you have uh, 
you know, if you'd like to change that, you can change your time zone and make sure your other settings here are as it needs to. And then on this, uh, we're going to go ahead and just do the typical installation. Um, and then hit next and it's going to ask what to name the computer and if you want to add an administrator password uh, on that so you name whatever you want and then the password is required in this case so um, just type in a password that you will remember then hit next um, just leave this all the same um, this was of course used for businesses with static uh, addresses and everything but don't need to worry about that so we'll hit next and then we can leave this as a work group and hit next and then it's just going to confirm everything we've kind of selected through here on the install uh, so we should be good on that so we'll hit install and so it's going to go ahead and format the partition copy the image and then uh, do the detecting of hardware and other setup here um, so basically once you get through all those prompts and you get onto this, uh, just kind of let it do its thing. Um, should run through fairly smoothly on its own. Um, and then eventually I think it will come up to a restart point. So, um, we're just going to let this run through and then I'll come back to you guys once we, uh, hit kind of towards the end of this page or the next, uh, you'll get into that restart here. I uh, take that back. Here it is. So we're going to go and reboot that. Um, that came very quickly there. Uh, do not press any key to boot into the CD. You'll go into a constant loop, so just be aware of that. And then we'll go ahead and boot you into the operating uh, system again. And it's going to go through some more of the installation. Um, so just kind of let it run through here. Uh, this will be this little first boot agent window and it'll run through some other um, processes in the setup. So I will let this run through and now that it will take a little bit, I'll let it run through and come back to you guys once that is finished. All right, so after running through all those prompts, we'll go ahead and do a reboot here. Again, do not press any key boot from the CD or you'll keep going in that loop. And then we'll go ahead and load up once more. And then we'll go through some other setup prompts here. So um, should run through some more of these here and just kind of let it do its thing. So um, we'll let us run through and we'll come back once it's uh, finished running through these here. All right, so just kind of caught that in time. It did do another reboot here. Um, again, do not press any key to avoid that loop. And then again, it will kind of go through some more prompts. So this may happen a few times where it'll uh, run through these reboots here. So I'll just kind of go through each one of these reboots um, and then it'll come up with these prompts again. Um, so again, just kind of let it run uh, and do its thing here. So I'll let it go through some more of these and then uh, we'll come back on the next uh, reboot points or when we hit the final portion of the setup here. All right. Another restart point coming up here. Um, will load us into the operating system again. Some more uh, prompts will come up. So um, once again, we'll just let them run through these uh, again and then uh, come back on the next uh, restart point here. Uh, just kind of running through these prompts. All right, so actually on that last prompt here, we'll actually uh, go ahead and uh, bring us up to the logon screen here. Now, of course, you can't just hit OK to log in. You do need to type some credentials. So. Um, username should be administrator and then the password is whatever you set that to before um, during the setup. And of course it will log in, it'll play the classic Windows XP uh, startup sound there. And here we are with having um, the uh, operating system installed here. Now as for guest editions for this, um, if we do an insert of the image and attempt to uh, do an install of it here. Um, you know, looking through, you'll see the version here. Um, of course, it's included with Service Pack 3 of uh, XP files here. So um, just kind of give you a basis on that. And if we also do a Winver, you'll see uh, the build information and OS information here. So um, yeah, when you run through uh, guest editions, you can uh, try the installation here. Um, and it'll go through with installing the drivers. 
might get some prompts that'll have you reboot. And it'll log us off and restart the uh, machine here after installing guest editions. Whether or not this will make any automatic changes to the resolution of the display is yet to be seen. We will see if that changes after this is done rebooting. So it'll have us on that shutdown prompt and then the machine will reboot. And we'll go ahead and log into the admin account. And actually, it did make it smaller here um, by the looks of it. And thankfully, it actually fixed the audio too, so it wasn't so high um, on that. But yeah, you can certainly uh, bump up the resolution if you need. Um, but that kind of helps with getting higher resolutions on that. But um, with that being said, that is the uh, finished installation. We've got guest editions installed. So that is the video tutorial on how to install Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, you can certainly leave a like down below here to show the appreciation for that. Uh, it's much appreciated uh, to know that these do help. Um, for anyone here or anybody that enjoys these types of videos. Uh, if you have any ideas for future videos, can leave a comment down below on uh, any ideas you have. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you can certainly hit the subscribe down, uh, button down below and hit the uh, post notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video and keep up to date on my content. So again, that was the video tutorial on how to install Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.